Then we'll stand outside Gene's room and sing the duet from Pearl Fishers. <laughs> How does that sound? Reggie, Will, here's Jean in all her glory. Three old friends are spending their golden years in a senior's home for retired opera singers in Quartet, a light comedy about the aging process by Ronald Harwood. The three were getting along well enough when the fourth member of the quartet, Jean the Diva, arrives on the scene and upsets the equilibrium. It's me, Jean. I know who you are. And if you don't like opera, no worries. The play is filled with sex, everywhere. It goes without saying that a cast of four make up the quartet. Two are Many Hats regulars. It's Jamie Eberly and Eleanor Walker. And then we have two new people that have never uh, done anything with many hats before. Uh, Jean Padwick, who is well known in the community uh, and a very fine actor, and Gordon Dawson. Oh, it's fun. It's fun. And I have to say I'm impressed with the caliper of, of everyone associated with uh, many hats. This, this is good theater. The part I play is that she's a diva. She is, um, was very prominent in her time. She was a superstar of the world of opera and she has fallen a far way and ended up in her last years, not the way she would like to have ended up, but in this home. And she's there, this is our secret, on charity. Dawson brings to the stage a background in radio, television, theater, and plays Wilfred Bond. Wilfred's a bit of a curmudgeon, he's a bit of a rascal, tends to stir things up a little bit. A gala concert to celebrate Giuseppe Verdi's birthday at the home is planned, but now is in jeopardy due to clashing characters. Is there any chance these four will ever sing together again? People are people, whether they're opera stars or not. These ones are maybe a trifle more eccentric than some of the others, but on the other hand... The character I play fancies himself as a bit of an academic, so he... His, his interests are rather more abstruse than those of the other singers. Well, all of it's wonderful. The people are marvelous and great fun and don't that take themselves seriously as actors but not seriously as people, which is a wonderful way to be. And we have a superb director who is patient and, and uh, always right. Audiences may laugh a little, sigh a little, and even cry as through the characters we face our own mortality. This is a story about people who are aging, who are finding that their abilities are not what they once were, but they're facing that with various degrees of courage and good humor and um, intelligence. Many Hats Theatre presents Quartet, running September 11 through October 4th at the Cannery Centre Theatre in Penticton. For tickets, call or visit the Penticton Visitor Information Centre. Don't they, Reginald?